Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. This morning I'm getting ready to plant a few hydrangeas. These are limelights and I'm really excited to put them in the ground. I've waited about a year uh, to put anything in here because I didn't want to just haul off and put any plant in this spot. I think that's really important to really think about what you're putting in to make sure it's going to be the correct size, to make sure that you've got the correct lighting for whatever plant you put in. I'd originally thought about putting little limes in this spot, which is kind of the miniature version of this hydrangea, um, but they grow about three to five feet tall. And I thought, well, that would be perfect if they get to the tallest height that they possibly could, five feet, which is about right where the window is. But then, you know, I thought, well, what if they stay on the three foot side of things? What if they stay smaller? I really do want something that's bigger back here. I want it to fill in this area for the most part and just be huge and striking. So I went with the limelights, which is a little bit of a stretch. They grow about six to eight feet tall. But the great thing about this hydrangea, it's a hydrangea paniculata, which means it blooms on new wood, which means I can size control these a little bit if they decide to grow as big as they say they'll get. So, you know, late winter, early spring, I can come in and kind of prune them down. And then I know that every year I'll still get new blooms on them. And the other reason I thought that this would be a really good choice up here is that our roof is right up here. And if we have another uh, horrendous winter, like we did last year, if we have snow coming off the roof, I thought, well, I've got to have something up here that if branches get broken, or if we have a really tough winter that's really cold, that kind of, you know, damages some of the ends of the branches, I want to know that it's still going to bloom every year. I don't want to put something up here that blooms on old wood because if it gets damaged in the winter, I'm not going to have blooms the next year. So now I'm just going to get them in the ground, but I'm going to grab my soil amendments first. All right, so I want to talk to you a little bit about the amendments that I'm going to be using today because it's a little bit different than I have been doing it in the past year or so. So when I dig my hole, of course, I'm going to be digging it a little bit wider than the plant can and about the same depth. And then at the bottom of the hole, I'm going to be putting a little bit of gypsum, which I have right here in this bucket. And what gypsum does is help break up hard clay soil, which we have here, and it also helps condition the soil. So we have high pH, so it helps condition it down a little bit, which um, brings me to the Hollytone. So Hollytone is a higher acid based fertilizer, which hydrangeas like it a little bit more on the neutral to acid side of things. And we're so high alkaline that I find that using something that's a higher acid helps you know, bring that pH down and keeps the plants a lot happier. However, I do believe that a lot of the U.S. has high acid soil. So if you live in an area that does already have acidic soil, um, you probably don't need to add more acid. So using just a regular starter fertilizer like Biotone would be a good option for you guys. I'm, I'm also going to be working in some planting compost around the root ball. So when I get the soil out of the hole, I'll work in some planting compost in with that native soil and then that's what I'll backfill with around the root ball. Now this is a little bit different than I've been planting things over the past year because I was encouraged when talking to some people in the industry, some growers, that you know plants don't need quite as much fuss as we give them. They don't need as many as soil amendments. But I planted some things like that last year and I wasn't blown away by the results. They're doing okay but they just haven't really done a ton. So I want to go back to the way I used to plant things in our area um, and had success with just to see how these plants do. It kind of brought me to the conclusion that there really isn't a 100% correct way for everyone to plant everything in every single region. Um, I have, you know, hard conditions. We're zone five, high desert. We have hard clay, we have high pH. We don't get rain in the summertime. We don't hardly ever have cloud cover and we have no humidity, which is tough on plants. You might live in a place that is great for growing everything. You might have rich soil, you know, rain all the time, which I'm jealous of. <laughs> Um, or you might live in a place like Arizona where it gets 120 plus where it would really be hard to grow something like this. So everybody just has a different situation. So all of that to say, I just wanted to encourage you guys that if you haven't had wild success yet with the things you're trying to grow, keep at it. Talk to your local garden center, talk to people who garden in your area because you know most of the time they'll have some really good tips and advice on what to use that's really specific for your area that'll really help out your plant. Because let's say you watched one of our videos where I used Hollytone to plant one of these hydrangeas and so you decided to use the same thing. Well, maybe you live in an area that already has high acid soil. So what you did was add acid on top of more acid, which didn't actually help your plant out. So knowing a little bit more about your specific area can be really helpful because maybe you'd need to adjust your fertilizer and use something that doesn't have quite as much acid. Okay, let's get these in the ground. I 
is in really well and that's really important this time of year. If you're planting right in the middle of summer, which I know a lot of people stop planting because it can be a little bit more stressful on the plant, but I continue planting through the whole summer as long as I make sure to keep them really well watered and as so long as I make sure that I've got them in the correct light. So this area right here, it's really quite early in the morning right now, so they're a little bit shaded, but they'll get a block of sun here probably from about nine o'clock until maybe about two, which is perfect for hydrangeas. It'll make sure that they'll bloom really well. They'll stay nice and full. Um, in some areas, they can take full sun all day long. When we were in Michigan, they've got hydrangeas everywhere and they can take that full sun, but we live in an area where it's a little bit more harsh, so you have to be mindful of that. And the other thing is that they are a zone three through eight, so they're a super, super tough hydrangea. So I think that makes them hardy down to negative 40. Yeah, that's really, really a tough hydrangea. I live in a zone five, so I know that these are gonna survive our winters. And the fact that they bloom on new wood is amazing. Even if we do have a tough winter, they get some broken branches, they'll still bloom every single year. I'm really excited to see how these hydrangeas grow in. And this limelight variety is one of my favorites. I know they're not like the huge, big, flashy, colorful hydrangeas, but there's something about this variety that just screams style to me. When I see this color of hydrangea with like boxwood hedging, uh, it just, it's so beautiful and pleasing to me, to, to my eye. Uh, and I think that it can be used in any situation, like any color scheme, any kind of style of the garden that you have, I think that these really fit well. And I love the range of colors that this gives too. So it's kind of this chartreuse green and then it ages and it turns kind of like this pinky, it's a pink hue toward the fall, which I really enjoy. And they dry really well too. I love to make wreaths out of these, cut blooms and enjoy them in fresh bouquets. They're just a wonderful plant. So to wrap it up, if you guys have a spot that can handle a six to eight foot hydrangea, this is a great option for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.